Ashley from Disability Action Center Northwest is our announcer. Sometimes caring for our own mental health can be overwhelming. However, we at Disability Action Center Northwest have put together the basics for a mental health toolkit. By creating your own personalized toolkit, you can bypass barriers and be in control of your own care. A red toolbox drops into a construction scene with lots of bare wooden trusses. The box opens and the title, Episode 2, Healthy Schedules, pops out of the box. Having a healthy schedule is probably one of the most important parts of taking care of yourself. Schedules can help us stay on track and keep us away from spiraling. Helpful tools for a healthy schedule include keeping an updated planner, physical or digital, taking time to examine your priorities, and setting long, medium, and short-term goals. In this activity, let's try breaking our lives into four categories, emotional, physical, social, and professional. The scene is a whiteboard with the four categories and lists under those categories. Rank these by how they are affecting your life, from first to fourth. List specific activities with each category. Remember, there are no wrong answers to this. Only you will see them. After ranking how things currently are, rank how you would like them to be. A young woman is sitting in front of the whiteboard, reflecting, then makes changes. If the two rankings do not match, you can begin to list activities under each category that you would like to add to your schedule. For every activity you want to add, see if there is an activity elsewhere that can be removed. The goal isn't to put more on your plate, but to balance your plate. So now that you have your priorities organized and obtainable goals set, let's make a vision board. This is where we can get creative. A vision board is displayed with lots of magazine pictures and printed or cut out phrases already on it. You can use words, cut out photos, stickers or drawings. This board is a place for you to envision what you want your life to look like. A young woman attaches the word goals to the vision board, then looks for some other phrases to add. You can have smaller goals for each of the four categories with ideas on how to get there. Everyone's board will be different, and that's perfect. The woman's fingers smooth out the word wow on the vision board. Use this board as a personal reminder for when you may feel lost, overwhelmed, or unsure what steps to take next. She stands back and examines her vision board, then adds the phrase bright ideas. Put it somewhere visible so every time you see it, you can be reminded of your goals. She leans her vision board against the wall over her counter space, then steps back and looks at it approvingly. A healthy schedule can help you keep in control. 